Hello guys, so I'm gonna bring you along with me for this week and just sort of show you what I've been up to on day to day unemployment life. I'm currently sitting in my car and it's the hottest day of the year. I'm all in black, but it's because I'm going to the gym later. Um, so my usual routine since being back has been get up, have a bit of a slow morning, come to either a Starbucks or a coffee, do like hardcore job searching for like an hour, two hours, go to the gym, go back home. Um, so yeah, I have just finished my job search in Costa Coffee for today. I need to pop you, my hand hurts. But honestly, like the struggle is real. Like it's funny because when I was in Australia and I would see loads of people on my few page, like move to Australia with me. But like the biggest thing that people faced was either finding an apartment or mostly finding a job and people would leave Australia because they found it so hard to find a job. And I must've just been super lucky because I never really struggled in Australia. I landed on my feet, which I'm so grateful for. And now since coming back to the UK, this is the first time in a long time where I'm having to actively find a job and not be in a current role. So I do think that puts a little bit more added pressure on, like obviously I'm super lucky because I'm staying at home, so I'm not paying any rent. Um, but yeah, the struggle is real. Um, my hair looks a bit glam for going to the gym and doing a job hunt. I just did a tutorial, not a tutorial, but I used um, basically a couple of weeks ago, which is pretty mad, GHD sent me a curling tong and, I, and I'm like, GHD, like that is unreal. I've never been sent anything by a brand that I have used for so many years before. So I was so excited. Um, it was for my TikTok, but like I can tell you about it on YouTube. Um, so it was like their curling tongs. So I just like curled my hair today. Also, because when you don't have a job and like you don't really like, obviously everyone's at work during the weekdays and stuff. I was just like, I'm going to make a bit of an effort today. I am going to put my, you know, put a little bit of mascara on, do my hair just to like make myself feel nice. But anyway, I think I said to you in my last video, I am going to do a bit of a revamp on my room. Um, so yeah, just finished. I was going to go to, I am going to go to the gym. I just feel a bit like weak and wobbly today. So I might just assess how I feel a bit later on. It's just so, so hot. Um, but I'm going to drive to the range now because my best friend caught, um, so that the range has got loads of like cute little bits and I, I really want like a squiggly mirror. I want some new frames and just like little bits of bobs. So let's go and have a hunt in the range and see what they've got. And let's whack this aircon up because I am dying. Oh my God, look, they have all the Halloween stuff. Excuse my burn, I burnt my hand. <gasps> this is exactly what Court was talking about. They have all of their Halloween stuff out already. Cute. Okay, so I didn't get anything, but it's definitely helped me decide the vibe that I want to go for. I am thinking like, is it a bit silly to go with this vibe because it's very summery. Oh my God, aircon, aircon, aircon. I'm thinking like, also, I don't know if I'm going to get copyrighted, so I will put in loads of footage. I'll just put in the footage here. I'm thinking like a Sicilian, Italian summer vibes like lemons and oranges and like minimal minimally and they're like a bit white but with the pops of color <sighs> the only thing i'm thinking is that come winter will that really be suitable for my room but also i think it will be because it will remind me of summer remind me of the good things to come when i'm sad and depressed in the in the um winter times but i put in some photos here of some things that i liked but I'll have a look online because I feel like I'll be able to get some really nice prints on Etsy, get them delivered, rolled up, and then just buy um, frames myself. I've also decided not to go to the gym because I feel really like, I really feel out of it today, like a bit zoned out. So I actually could have worn a cute outfit rather than my gym outfit. But yeah, I'm gonna make a salad for me and my dad tonight. It's just me and my dad in. So I'm just gonna pop to Tesco's on the way home. I don't even know where I am. Is there a, oh, there's an Aldi. There's an Aldi across the road. Whatever, boring. And get some bits for having like a burger and salad. So bits for that. Yum. Okay, I'm home now. I didn't go to the gym, obviously. I'm about to eat the weirdest lunch ever because it's four o'clock. My dad's just gone out, so he's not gonna be back until like seven. And I've got like, I went to Waitress and picked up some, we'll have some burgers and some salad, but it's, I'm really hungry. So I've gone with hummus, crisps, peppers, and I don't think that's gonna fill me up. So I've also just put some beans in the oven and I'm just gonna have some beans on cheese on beans. How weird is that? It's such a weird like 
Does anyone else get that though? Like when you're, when it's really hot, I, you don't know what to eat. Like, like I don't know what to eat right now because it's so hot. Been as silly as that sounds. I'm just gonna do a bit more um, job hunting, see if anyone's put anything up in the last few hours. Watch the Olympics, watch the traitors. What did I come in here for? Jeez. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll check in with you when I next do something fun, so probably tomorrow. <laughs> okay, it's currently six o'clock in the evening, half six. I haven't really done anything today. Last time I spoke to you, I picked up yesterday. But I'm recording this now to take accountability <laughs> for the mess that is behind me. So as you know, I'm wanting to redo my bedroom. I can't really even start doing that until I've actually packed away things that I brought back from Australia. I've definitely been like putting off pack it, like unpacking because it hurts my soul a little bit. I'm not going to lie, but I just need to do it because mentally it's not really good for me to be able to see this. This is what I'm talking about. I finally got rid of the massive box I sent back, which is good. It's this stuff down here. This stuff, because I brought new pillows. Let's do a speed up clean. And let's watch the traitors at the same time. my way home I went to Dunelm and got this mirror for there <laughs> I haven't measured it or anything I just thought it looked cute so I picked it up um, I don't even know if it's, it's gonna hang it looks like this it's squiggly it's this shape it's, it's called a pond mirror which I think is cute pounds is expensive for a mirror but I was having a look online and I couldn't see anything cheaper than 50 pounds for an actual mirror I could have looked on Facebook marketplace but I didn't I forgot um but on Amazon and stuff when you find like a, like a cheap mirror that you think is nice it turns out it's not actually a glass mirror it's just a reflective surface that they're expecting you to stick on top of like a hard surface and make it into a mirror, which I think is stupid. I mean, no, sorry, that's rude. That's rude, sorry. It's not stupid, but I can imagine in person it doesn't look very good. Um, so let's see. I also don't know where the hangings are, so I might have to like take the things down, fill in the holes and then go from there, but So it looks like this. Do we think it'll look better like that? Or like that? I feel like up will be better. Do you feel bad taking this down to be fair? Oh, it might work. Because it has got lovely photos in it. Me, and my family, and my sisters. My dog, when she was a baby. My other dog that passed away. Cute. I just feel like it's too good to be true for it to work. Nah, I need it like there, don't I? Oh. Mm. My dad's not going to be happy. Oh, oh my gosh. It has literally come out in my hand. <laughs> it needs two hooks. I love it though. I love what that's going to look like. You can't see. 
Did you see? No. Damn. Okay. I'm gonna have to take some hooks out. Oh, father! I need my dad to help me with this. Hello guys, I've been meaning to um, vlog for the whole of today and it's just turned half past two and I'm only just picking up the phone now. Um, me and Tom have been out for the day. Um, Tom is down visiting me this weekend slash week because he arrived on Thursday. Um, so I'm just gonna pop it back down actually. Um, I'll show you what I just got. So this morning, what have we been up to? Oh my God, I was meant to vlog yesterday as well. Yesterday we had a lovely day. We got up kind of early um, to like make the most of the day and we drove to Hampstead Heath, which is quite near me. Um, and we um, and we went to, I think I did get a couple of clips. We went to Hampstead Heath, which is um, North London. And we went swimming in the ponds there. So you have mixed ponds, you have women's only and men's only. We went in the mixed ponds, obviously. Let me just move to a bit of a better lighting situation. Um, so yeah, that was that. Then we went, so we went swimming and then we went to one of the places in Hampstead for just like a brunch afterwards. Um, and came back and watched the Olympics. My family are obsessed with the Olympics, so Tom really has no choice in the matter. If he's at my house and the Olympics are on, we will be watching the Olympics. This morning, so that was yesterday. This morning we um, got up and we went to a town quite near me, to a town um, quite close to me again, <laughs> and went for just like a coffee. Went to Gales actually, so Gales Bakery. I feel like they're popping up everywhere. Um, and this one's been there for a while. And the girl in there was so rude. I got a sausage roll. And what do you want with a sausage roll? You obviously want ketchup to dip it in. So I was like, oh, can, do you have any ketchup? And she was like, she was French. She was like, ugh, no. And I was like, okay. So like, I'll just have this sausage roll or dry then, shall I? And I went back to Tom and, she was, and he was like, what did she just say to you? She just gave you the dirtiest look ever. I was like, I asked for some ketchup. And she, you literally honestly would have thought I'd ask her to strip down naked and do a dance in front of me. She looked absolutely horrified. So yes, the sausage roll was delicious, but it was incredibly dry. Um, but anyway, we had a mooch around the shops and I got, as you know, I'm like trying to make my room a little bit nicer. So the mirror is officially up. I think I, I think I maybe did a video, but my dad put it up for me. Um, I obviously had to get rid of like all my storage stuff when I came back. So when I was in Sydney, I had a really lovely, I think I showed you it in a shopping haul one time from Kmart, just like a really simple like jewellery stacker. Um, so I wanted something quite similar to that. Well, ended up getting something even nicer. Um, let me show you. I'm going to pop you up on a fruit bowl. It's as good as we're going to get. Yeah, so I went to Oliver Bonus and I saw this online and it was in the sale, but... When, when I saw the price of it, it was like £10. I thought it would be like maybe this big. But it's absolutely massive. And such a bargain. So it's meant to be £30 and it's been reduced to £10. Um, and this is what it looks like. And I love Oliver Bonus, but I don't really shop there very much because obviously it's quite a lot of like home decor stuff and I don't really need any of that. But oh my gosh. Let's see if I can. How stunning. Like, it's so big. When I saw it online and, and I saw that it was £10, maybe I should have seen that it actually was £30 to begin with. But I was like, oh, it'll probably be, like, quite dinky. But this will literally be able to fit in, like, the majority of my jewellery. So, yeah, successful little shopping trip. Um, it is half two now. I think we're going to go to the cinema. We're going to go and see A Quiet Place 3 now. Is that what it's, is that the number we're at? I think it's number three. Um, but we're just going to chill for a little bit first because... Got a few hours to kill. Chill with my dog, watch some, uh, uh, watch some Olympics um, and eat some fruit because we also went to this dessert place and got like a brownie and ice cream at midday. So I'm feeling pretty gluttonous. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm just gonna wrap this video up here because I kind of just left you on a cliffhanger. But yes, I am still in the process of redoing my room. As you saw, I've got the mirror up. I think you saw it anyway. I love it. I found some artwork to go onto this wall, which I love. So I just, I think I'm going to go A3 size because it just, honestly, what is up there makes me laugh right now. Who did I think I was getting a London 
getting a London poster. Like, ah, oh, bless me. Anyway, um, but yes, so that was basically my week in a nutshell. I've had some more interviews on the job front. I've been put forward for a few more roles. So it's nice to see a little bit of movement on that front. Um, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, and yeah, just getting back into the UK way of living, I guess. So thank you for being patient with me. See you in next week's video. Bye.